Now, again, getting a link allows for the ability just to copy that link and say, for instance, maybe you're using a chat program like Teams or Slack within your company, and you need to send a, a, a quick share to somebody either internally, or maybe you're talking to this client through Teams or Slack, and you just want to send them a quick link of this, uh, these two shares that I'm going to send. I'm just going to use that actual doc temp uh, template first. And then you'll see, and by the way, as you see, when I chose just one, it's a little different of a view, but also it will warn me. Um, we did bring this in recently that um, uh, that will tell you that if this is set to anonymous, um, that of course it is something that anyone could be accessing. Um, but as you can see, it generated that link for me. As you can see, I already had one created previously, but I just went and generated a new one. But from here, again, just like the email option, if we choose, oops, looks like I had an issue there. Let me actually grab, actually I'll grab a new one from my computer. I'll grab that how to. This way it starts fresh. So if we continue, we can actually bring that up. Now, one thing I did want to mention, this was good that I actually chose this other document is we do have new AI uh, capabilities within ShareFile, which will actually highlight if there was any kind of say PII information or personal information within a document, we will recommend certain share link options for you to change uh, so that when you are collaborating with a client, you are setting those link options optimally. Um, but same thing here, we can go and either recommend those options and that will change. We can go to edit those. And as you could see by default, I'm actually set on anyone as meaning anyone can actually publicly access this link if I kept it that way. As you saw when I'm sending an email, I did have that check mark box for requiring people to sign in. When I'm creating a link, you do have the option a little more extended in terms of how public you want this to be. So we do have the two options above. You have the anyone, which is just anyone can access that link. If I send it out, it's not going to require Mary Lou to sign in or John Doe to sign in. If I had anyone with public information where it's going to require their name and their email, that doesn't entail them to require to sign into their client, but at least provide some information. So we see who, of course, was accessing that data. But as you see, my recommender did recommend choosing the client and employee user login option. So this will require, if they're a client or employee, to require the sign-in option. That's what it's recommended. Or if you just choose, if it's just an employee I'm sending to, you could just require the employee to sign in. So I'm going to choose recommendation there. As you saw, remember, I still have my expiration. I have it after one day. I have always used the latest version, which really wouldn't matter because I chose that file from my desktop. I know that's the latest version and I can create and copy. There we go, creates the link. And as you can see, it generates that link here and I could simply copy that. And now again, use whatever method I can wanna use or I say, again, I'm using chat. I can post that link in there to Mary Lou or John Doe and they'll be able to access it based on the security settings that I had there.